hi there so in this tutorial we are going to see how you can interact with SQLite database with the help of Python code so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type Python in our command prompt this opens interpreter in which we are going to type our code first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import SQLite 3 module Okay, so if there are no errors here, that means this module is loaded and you can now execute the command for SQLite. So first check the version we have here, which is SQLite 3. And I'm going to check explicitly the version, SQLite underscore version. Okay, so the version is 3.8. Point three, point one. Now, one more thing we are going to do is we are going to import system library as well. So when we have some specific command to use for accessing database specific features, but requires a system module for its functions, then we are going to use this module explicitly. However, this part of the tutorial you're going to only create the database then you want to insert the data and just going to commit your changes into the database in next part of the tutorial I will show you how to update your database delete your data and also check the contents of your database so let's first start connection by typing connection equals to SQLite 3 dot connect and inside which I'm going to type sample 1 dot db as my database okay if this commands load properly that means there are no errors and you have your sample 1 database created now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to execute SQLite command here by creating a table create table name it students and inside this I'm going to have a number which is integer and primary key then I'm gonna have name as webcare 10 and I'm gonna close this okay so this is our code so far and there are errors regarding syntax so it should be closed twice Okay. now it is properly created now when we see the cursor object that means our database is created now we're going to insert data into this by typing insert into students values and inside this bracket one and name as ABC so we have one student with these formation so what I have done so far I have okay so I have created a query to add value one into our database and here seems I have <coughs> a bit troubled with syntax. Okay, so it should be closed with codes like this. Okay. Ok, 
okay so this time everything is correct just go through our query where I have used double quotes okay that being said now let's commit this changes to our database okay so these changes are committed now we can also go ahead and get all the data listed however we just have only one row we can add a few more rows if you want and then that way data will be much better to look at okay now let's add one more Okay, so we have total three entries within the database now the next part of the tutorial I will show you how you can view this data also update or delete with the help of Python code so I hope you enjoyed the first part of the series and thank you for watching the video